Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mom Connected, and today I'm going to take you through how I straighten my hair. So, because my hair is damaged um, from a lot of tension, which I mentioned in my last hair video, I don't typically wear my hair in its curly or natural straight natural state <laughs> because I have straight pieces here, wavy pieces there, actual coils in other places. It's too much of a headache for me to try to braid it down or do twist outs and things like that, especially since I can't braid or do twist outs. So I've been keeping my hair straight. Um, I do that at least once a month whenever I'm not wearing it in a bun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you through my straightening process on today, especially since I want my hair to look nice cause I'm going on a trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it so that my hair is not looking crispy. Although it's gonna be hot, very hot and humid where I'm gonna be. So it's probably gonna get messed up anyway, but as long as I make that good first impression, that's what counts. So these are the products that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the Pantene Repair and Protect line. I have the shampoo. I have the conditioner and I also have the three minute miracle mask before I get started this video is not sponsored by Pantene at all whatsoever but I rave about these products because I found that for my hair they actually do work especially this three minute miracle mask because I don't have time to sit under my hooded steamer for 30 45 minutes I got a lot of stuff to do errands to run got to get the kids just mom life I'm going to use this 3 Minute Miracle Mask because what it does is it really does repair the hair without having to do so much steaming and it gets it done in a quick enough amount of time to where I can get on with my day. I'm going to go ahead and wash and condition my hair and then I'm going to come back and show you how I blow dry, flat iron, and style my hair. So if you're interested in that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and continue watching. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I have washed out my 3 minute um, miracle repair mask. Now I am just going to go ahead and continue sectioning my hair off so that I can start blow drying it. just using hair ties because for whatever reason and I'm sure it's probably because of Grayson I cannot find except only I can only find one of my clips like he was playing with them the other day so I am certain he's the cult and when I'm putting these hair ties in there I'm just barely loosely putting them on there, going around one loop, just to keep it out of the way. I'm not doing it to secure it in any particular style. I'm gonna put on some heat protectant. The heat protectant that I'm using is the Sleek It Iron and Straight Heat Spray by L'Oreal Paris. Although this is not in the Pantene line, this is my favorite heat protectant and it smells good. So if you want to spray it on there, make sure that it is saturating the hair. blow dry because although I have a lot of tension damage I do not want additional heat damage so I'm going to have done that side do the same thing
heat protectant in all four sides, I'm going to go ahead and begin um, blow drying my hair. The reason I put the heat protectant in first is because I want to let it sit for a little while because if you just spray this on and then go ahead and start blow drying your hair, it doesn't have a chance to work. That's why a lot of people always say, oh, well, I still get heat damage every time I flat iron my hair. It doesn't matter if I use heat protectant or not. Well, you didn't give it a chance to sit in. It's probably why. So I went ahead and I sprayed it. I let it coat my hair. I went from the ends all the way up to the roots. And now I'm gonna go ahead and begin blow drying. completely dry I basically just went all the way through combed it forwards combed it backwards made sure that every inch in the middle was dry so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to mist it again with some more heat protectant just because I am paranoid and this is just a, a light mist Definitely concentrating on the ends. Then I'm just going to comb that through. Well, brush that through the hair. And as you can see, just from me straightening it, what I was doing was similar to how you chase your flat iron with your comb. I was chasing my brush with the blow dryer. So this could help me to get the, you know, maximum amount of my hair straightened while blow drying so that way whenever I am actually flat ironing I only have to pass the flat iron on my actual strands once or twice. This way I can minimize the amount of heat that's actually being placed by the flat iron since of course the flat iron gets much hotter than the blow dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off and then begin flat ironing. Hey right, guys, so now that my hair has been completely blow dried and I went ahead and sprayed some more heat protectant in my hair, I went ahead and I just sectioned my hair off into three chunky sections. One on the side, one on this side, and then I have the back section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way up from the bottom of my head to the top of my head in small about one inch pieces. The reason I do it so small is because I want to make sure that the hair has been completely smoothed down and this is going to allow me to be able to maintain this hairstyle for a longer period of time. I found that whenever I flat iron my hair in big chunky sections, it does not stay as straight and as soon as I walk outside, it's back like this, which isn't completely bad. Some people like the volume, but when I straighten my hair, I want it to be sleek, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that process. I've already, and I dropped my comb, split my hair into one little section. I pass the smallest tip of my comb through it to make sure that it is completely straight. And then I just go down the strand, easy peasy. And I kind of bump the end. So that's the first piece done and slick. I'm going to go ahead and continue working my way up. So I'm going to fast forward this part and you'll see the finished product.
so this is the finished product. My hair is all nice and silky and sleek. This is the front. This should last me at least the entire week while I am going out of town. Most days I'll probably wear it in a ponytail unless I'm going out or doing something like that, then I'll wear it down. But this is pretty much how I do my hair every single time. I may not use the same exact products every time, but I do get the same exact results every single time. So if you have enjoyed this video, thank you so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, like, follow comment on all of my social media i'm mom connected thank you guys for watching and have a great day